All right, so what we're gonna do is if you remember, he had an existing waterfall up here that came down underneath his walkway down into here. But because the pond level was so low before, we couldn't make a waterfall right in through here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a water feature over here. So we're gonna do two spillway bowls and a patio bowl that disappear into a hidden basin. So that way that will welcome his guests when they come in. And then this waterfall here is for him personally when he sits out on the deck or if he's in his office over here. So we're gonna get started. We're gonna lay this out, show you what it looks like, and then have fun going through this frozen ground. Alright, so here's our thought process on this. We're going to have an upper one here. We're going to sink this one a little bit, little bit lower and then we'll take the terracotta patio bowl um, and we'll set that in the middle so maybe one falls into the, both of them fall into the center one and that one overflows down into our hidden basin itself. I would have loved to get the Aquascape 360 bowl. Unfortunately, that wasn't available. It's on back order. So we're gonna, we went with the closest color scheme and terracotta patio bowl was the, uh, was the one. All right, so this is gonna be the basic setup. We've got an upper spillway bowl up on top right here. That's sitting on two stands. Now the plumbing will come from the pump over to here and we're limited to what our our basin could be for this because uh, what we found out this was an existing patio and there are lots of boulders down here that are just like icebergs so um, we don't have a machine here to pull this out the deck that's here is kind of in fringes and then we've got plants behind us so we could not we don't have machine access to this so our basin is going to be limited we're going to have a check valve on our pump so that way, if he decides to shut this down, these bowls up on top don't drain out into the basin. If they did, now the basin would overflow and then the next time he goes to turn it back on, there's not enough water. Not good. So we've got one spillway at one level, one at another level. Now from the driveway, you can see this, um, which is pretty cool. We'll have lights on it, lights inside it. Again, lights on it, lights inside it. And then uh, the same thing for the bottom one. Now that small little notch that's right in front, we're gonna open that up. So we're gonna have a large spillway coming out of that. Now this will be a decorative gravel down in here, our pump vault down in the bottom. So we've got one aqua blocks coming this way. We've got two more aqua blocks coming this way. So we've got a total of um, 30, 60, 90, 96 gallons of water. Should be enough if he shuts it off, but that check valve is just gonna give us that added insurance that these bowls will not drain out into the basin in case there's too much in the basin as it is. 
from filling it up or from rainwater coming in. So we're gonna head up to the uh, supply store. We're gonna get our plumbing and then we're gonna pick up a pump. We'll get this, oh, and lights. We gotta get have lights and a check valve. And then we will, uh, we'll get this all set up and then stay tuned. We'll get this up and running. Hachi, you gonna hold down the fort while we go up to the store? Yeah? Yeah? You gonna miss me? Hachi. Oh! Come on. Oh boy. Oh! Good boy.